we're going to make a sequence with a kick drum and a snare drum on a single DFAM unit. To start out, make sure that your unit looks just like mine. You can think of this as a sort of initialized patch. Right now, we're only hearing VCO2. Now I'll press the run stop button to begin the sequencer, and I'll turn up the velocity where I want to hear my first note. In order to make this sound like a drum, we're going to add a little bit of pitch envelope to VCO2 and turn the frequency down. trim some of the high end out with this cutoff knob. Now wherever I turn up the velocity will be a bass drum. Let's work on our snare. We're going to take advantage of the noise generator in the DFAM to be our snare drum. We'll turn it up a little bit for now. Since our cutoff is down though, we won't hear it. So, we use the pitch knobs to control the cutoff frequency by sending the pitch output to the VCF mod input. Let's hear it. As I turn the noise slash VCF mod up and open the filter back up, we'll get it ready to play our snare drum. When we turn up the pitch of a step, it'll open up our cutoff and simultaneously push the oscillator out of audible range. That sounds good, but it's not very snappy. So, we're going to take our VCO EG, that's our quick pitch envelope, and plug it into the noise level. We could turn the noise down just a little bit. Now it will use the pitch envelope to control the VCA that's in the mixer on the noise level. Your noise level knob now becomes a sustain amount. That's how you make a kick and snare drum pattern on the DFAM. Just remember, volume up where you want to note, pitch down is a kick, and pitch up is a snare.